that is they are tubular and help in transporting water and minerals vertically efficiently. Xylem parenchyma stores food and helps in lateral conduction of water. In addition to transporting water and mineral salts from roots to the leaves, xylem also provide a support to the plant and trees because of its tough lignified vessels. That means out of four type of cells, only one is there which is named as xylem parenchyma which is the living one left all the three type of the cells which form the xylem tissue are dead cells. How they are the dead cell and why? Because they are having the thick walls and on these thick walls ligni, lignin that is a chemical substance is deposited. That's why their membrane is thick and the name uses lignified cell wall. Okay. The next part that is phloem. In the phloem, sieve tubes are the tube like structure and the, as we studied the elements are sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. The end walls are called the sieve plates and perforated due to the presence of pores. In this phloem, sieve tubes, in the sieve tubes different cells are located just one above the another one and their membrane get fused or little pores are there in that membrane and that is known as the sieve plate as you can see in the figure 2. The phloem transport the prepared food from the leaves to the storage organ and from storage organ to growing regions and hence materials can move in both the directions. So here are some differences between xylem and phloem. First one xylem that is conduct water and minerals, phloem that conduct food, xylem that conduction takes place only in one direction because water and minerals are present in the soil and that are absorbed by the roots. So roots transport the water and minerals in the complete plant that was only in the one direction, single direction from roots to the tip of the plant. But phloem, in phloem conduction occurs in two direction. If the food prepared in the central part of the plant that means on that leaf which is located at the central region. So that food will be translocated to the upper tip as well as the lower tip of the plant. That means food is moving in both the directions because all the parts of the plant need food. That's why the phloem transportation that is a translocation of food occurs in both directions. That's why we use the word bidirectional. In the xylem, the third point, the conducting channels are trachets and vessels. Out of four type four cells by which the xylem made up, only the two, the trachids and vessels are responsible for the conduction. Next in the phloem, conducting channels are the sieve tubes. In xylem, only xylem parenchyma is living as I said before and all the other elements are dead. In phloem, all elements are living only phloem fibers are dead. That means in xylem, out of four, one is living and three are dead but in phloem, Three are living and one is dead. Last point, the xylem conduct and give mechanical strength.